Hey everybody, this is Ethan Ballinger again, and I'm going to be helping you with some C++ programming. Um, today we're just going to be doing a simple conversation, um, ask a couple questions and answers and display those. Um, what we got here is just about eight or so questions. Um, you're going to have to make sure you have your standard library facilities and your header files and your actual um, source file um, more in Visual Studio um, right here we just have you know a welcome a greeting type thing um, by having inline and line right like that it gives us a space um, in between questions um, I'm just going to go through a couple basic things a string is just a string of characters. Um, it would be like my name. It would be like hello right here. Um, it can be short or long, doesn't matter. Um, here's another string. Um, int or integer is a, uh, it would be like that. Um, it could be that long, or it could be 12. It could be something simple like that. Um, a double is um, also called a floating point decimal. Um, it'd be like 54.9. It's got to have the decimal though. Um, your char or character would just be a character. H would be a char. Uh, star would be a char. Um, a bool or a boolean is, uh, it can only be, it can only be, uh, reported as true or false. Um, you don't really have to use a, a bool here. It's just, uh, I just did it, just throw it in. Um, a string would work just as well here. And, um, we just have a couple different questions we're asking. Um, one thing to to remember when you're doing this is you you see out your question and then you have to declare your string um, it's asking what is your name you declare a string name and then you'll answer you'll type whatever your name is and <coughs> CN reads that name right here and then you skip a line so I'm just gonna run it and show y'all what I'm talking about. Okay, hello and welcome to C++ or Civilization News Network. What is your name? Um, Bob. Hello, Bob. Okay, see what happens <coughs> is when you uh, see in your name, you see out another line and it's hello, and then name. It's the string name up here. Then you inline and line, so you space, and then ask what your last name is. String last, you're declaring last, and then it reads it in here, and then you see out you're in line. So we'll go back to this. What is your last name? Um, Tom. Oh, I like that name. Well, how old are you? Um, we'll say 60. Please enter your favorite decimal number, 78.9. What about your favorite character? Blah, blah, blah. No. True. Okay, and then we've reached the end of our program. So, it finishes. Um, now, um, you can add in error checking, which I did not do in this one. I will get to that a little bit later. That's a little bit too advanced for beginning stages. Um, but say if you did not, let's see what happens if you don't um, put in. Say it says how old are you? What if you're thinking they mean um, like a, a word instead of um, integer. 
Okay, um, let's see. I'm 60. I'm really not 60. I'm just saying I am. Because I don't want you to know how old I am. It ends because we requested for a integer. And if we're not given an integer, then it will end. Um, and you can throw in error checking and um, an error message if you want. Um, but we haven't. I'm not going to do that yet. I'll do that in a later example. And what that would do is it would uh, basically just check. Um, and it would tell you that it wanted an age in number in a number form. Um, I'll run it one more time. Let you see it one more time, just 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 to see what's your name, Ethan. What is your last name? Joe. Seventy-eight. Favorite decimal number: fifty-four point two uh, dollar sign. Yes. Okay. Well, and that is it for today's example.